Well, we just came back from a spin. Me, Low Tide Tim, the Mummels Man, and Doc Beaver on the bay. We all got the Mummels, but Doc Beaver did find a titanium. Now, me and Jack, we're going for a spin on the bay. Stand by. The tide is super low, making off good on the bay. We just couldn't find anything. Now, besides liking to play ball in the yard, he loves to play the ball in the water better. Because he likes to swim. I never showed you any swimming videos. And so today is a day that we're going to see your big jack. God damn it, stand by. Come on. I didn't throw it very deep that time. Stand by. <laughs> Jack the Retriever. <laughs> there he comes. There you go, Jack. He'd be happy for a week. This is the third time we've done it this week. <laughs> you tired yet? <laughs> Hell no, I ain't tired. Let's go. Throw that ball away, you turkey you. Off he goes. This is the part he don't like. <laughs> I don't know if he don't like the toes or what, but he tolerates it, but he don't like it. Big old Jack, do you? And no, god damn it, I don't like it, Daddy. Okay. While we're still outside, with the tide late in the afternoon, that gives me some time to spend in the morning. I went thrift store shopping today. I went to four, three thrift, three thrift stores that were 25 miles away or further. One I've only been to once, and the other three, other two I've never been to. I picked up this little r and Custo Grip Basic. Australian made in Ch Ch Japan, I think maybe. Make a nice little knife in my box. And then I picked up two of these exactly the same. Mundials, like restaurant style knives, you know, high carbon, stainless. They call them 5614s. Look like twins. Appear to have never been used much and ever hardly don't look like they've ever been sharpened. And then I picked up this knife. I don't know what kind of knife it is, but it's cool. It's little. You can see it's got nice little handles on it. Paring knife. And it says USA. It looks like Exco. E X C O. I gotta look it up when I get inside. X do or I can't quite make it out. E X O D maybe? I've never seen one quite like it. Doesn't say much on it other than those two things but it's a nice little nice little pair knife we'll see how it goes 
It, it too is uh, relatively new, no longer because I've been sharpened. We'll see. All right, that's the end. The living end. Won't see you spinning tomorrow. I'm going to take a break. Give my body a day off. Got to take the girls out for dinner on Wednesday night. That'll Right when the tide's low. I could get up at the crack of dawn and go, but I don't think I'm going to do that. Matter of fact, I know I'm not going to do that. Okay, I'll give you Danny's report and beavers, and I don't think Low Tide Tim found much. He came by and said hello to us. He was like us, he was mumbling. Okay, that's enough ranting. See you Thursday. The little pair knife was made by Arrowhead Cutlery, apparently back in the 60s. And then it was sold to Eco Home Products in the 70s. And then it was sold in 97 to a TV cooking show host, Charles Knight. So I don't know how old it is or anything about it. 1997, Knight first sale. His parent 32 piece set of Arrowhead Cutlery is proudly displayed in his Tampa office. Fifty year lifetime guarantee. Huh, pretty cool. Well, here's a roundup. That's a Hopkins lure made here locally in Tidewater. Five dimes, one quarter, one nickel, some big aluminum, a stud rivet this is a bottle cap bud hooked to some kind of piece of iron and i have no clue what this is it's got a hole all the way through it it's like stainless pipe tapered on both ends i'm curious to find out what that is a pair of sunglasses anybody know what brand that is You got some stuff inside, but you can't make it out either side of the wall. Okay, that's the that's it for the roundup at Rancho Max. See you thirsty, like I said. Make it easy. <laughs>